Hello and welcome. My name is Abu and in this lecture, I'll help you clarify the real meaning of HTML using simple and easy to understand examples. So, what exactly is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's not a programming language, it's a markup language. In simple words, HTML tells web browsers how to structure the web page and its content. HTML has different types of elements and every HTML element is structured using opening tag, closing tag, self-closing tag, element attributes, and element contents. If you think of any web page, it has different types of content, such as page title, logo, navigation link text, label, search field, banner title, section title, long description, short description, email input field, subscribe button, picture, section title, descriptions, list of features, smaller title, social media icons, line of text, footer navigation link text, and more. So the question is, how do we mark up these different types of contents and display them in the browser? The answer is, using different HTML elements. For example, this page title can be marked up using title element. This logo can be marked up using image element. This navigation link text can be marked up using anchor element. This label can be marked up using label element. This search field can be marked up using input element. This banner title can be marked up using level one heading element. The section title can be marked up using level 2 heading element. This long description can be marked up using paragraph element. This short description can be marked up using paragraph element. This email input field can be marked up using input element. This subscribe button can be marked up using button element. This picture can be marked up using image element. This section title can be marked up using level 2 heading element. These descriptions can be marked up using paragraph element. These list of features can be marked up using list element. The smaller title can be marked up using level 3 heading element. These social media icons can be marked up using image element. This line of text can be marked up using paragraph element. This footer navigation link text can be marked up using anchor element. And there are more than 100 HTML elements to mark up different types of web page contents. In order to master HTML, you need to know when and how to use every different HTML element to mark up different web page content. Okay, this is what HTML is. It's just a building block of every web page. In order to make things more clear, let's inspect a real web page using browser's developer tools. Okay. Let's inspect this web page. In order to inspect web page, just right click on any place on the web page and select inspect. Make sure you are on the elements panel. Actually, this means HTML elements. After that, select this arrow on the most left. Now, when you hover any content on this page, the HTML element that is used to mark up this content will be highlighted in the developer tools on the right. For example, in this case, this banner title is marked up using level 1 heading element. This question text is marked up using paragraph element. This third search field is marked up using input element. This banner image is marked up using image element. This section title is marked up using level 3 heading element. This thumbnail picture is marked up using image element. This thumbnail description is marked up using paragraph element. This section title is marked up using level 2 heading element. This block of text is marked up using paragraph element. Basically, for every content on this page, you'll definitely be able to see its rated HTML element from the developer tools on the right. This is what I meant by saying that HTML is the building block of every web page. Okay. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.